worrying about something yeah, like Chris? <laughs> well, new research oh. claims that we are a nation living on our nerves. Apparently. The survey says we're worrying about what relationships and house prices and our children, no surprises, I suppose. But the researchers go on to make the startling claim that you can measure the amount of time we spend worrying. And how long is it? Well, the average Briton spends 27 days a year thinking about their words. Not 28, not 26, precisely 27. 27. Well, the study found that teenagers <laughs> are the most troubled and that women fret more than men. Yeah. So we went out to find out what you are most worried about. Well, anything I can. Yeah, and if there's nothing specific, I'll find something. My children, state of the house, work. Yeah, I'm a worrier. Well, I don't know. Perhaps your health is the most important thing. Or it can cause you to be ill, I think, if you worry too much. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'd agree with that. It yeah. has to be your health. <laughs> if you're fit, you can cope with mostly of anything. You shouldn't worry, because you, you, you don't know how long you do, you, you know? You just... I don't believe in worrying, <laughs> personally. I don't worry about anything. I'm a sore person where worrying's not going to really change the outcome of whatever it is you're worrying about, so you can't stop yourself worrying, but there's no point in and dwell on the point if you know what I mean. Don't like getting older, of course. <laughs> None of us like getting older. Well, but of course um, you can do something about that. You know, you can go to the hairdressers or you can, you know, you can, you can do something about that. <laughs> Well, Richard Rubin is here from the website reallyworried.com <laughs> and former apprentice Joe Cameron is here as well. He says she never worries about no. anything. Can no. you believe it? Not even about getting <laughs> here this morning. No, never worries about anything. If, if I were worried about things, I wouldn't have gone on The Apprentice, would I? And then you wouldn't That's experience true. some of the great things in life. I think worry is just brought about by uncertainty. And I really yeah. think you can manage uncertainty by having a plan and knowing where you're going. Look at your body language, Richard. You can tell he's a worrier. Can I say something? I must tell you something. I, 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 am, I am, you know, suppose it, the most worried man in Britain. We worry mainly on a Monday morning on the way to work. Yeah. And it's the, can understand And it's that. the most worrying day of the, uh, yeah. uh, of the week. However, I've got to tell you, I actually feel kind of cool. Well, oh, we hope, we hope it's because you're getting my good it's vibes. It's a nice cup of tea <laughs> before you come Before you go any further, right? <laughs> You don't even know. You need to know the name of the website because you don't have a worry in the world by the looks of things. Well, no, because I choose not to worry. I think there's a lot because I run a business. I do speaking. I do lots of things. Right. Yeah. I'm now single at 37. That could present a lot of worries, but I choose no, not to. No, no, listen, you, you've had your 15 minutes. <laughs> give, give me an opportunity <laughs> to be heard. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about worry. This is a well, me time. Can you choose not to worry? Uh, well, I can't. I, I don't seem to be able to. The, the statistics you've mentioned where we're yeah. wasting something like five years of our life and the average Briton spends about five, uh, one hour, 46 minutes a day worrying. Hey, I'd love to be Mr. Average. I'm thinking, oh, how long do you spend worrying? What a luxury, <laughs> an hour and 46. That's, that's really, really... Hmm. What is it, all your waking time? What, what do you worry about then? Coming to the BBC. Yeah, <laughs> let me say, yesterday, I'm an unknown guy. I live in Manchester. A bit of a, you know, people know, a bit of a quirky guy. I've got kind of this interesting website idea to launch something. The only plug, reallyworried.com. If you're worried, you go there. Yeah, and, and, and the people, gets... yeah, another is like potty okay. ideas. Meanwhile, hey, I'm sat on British BBC One talking to the world about worry. <laughs> and <laughs> you know what? <laughs> and you're I, I feel like a guy who's come out the closet. You know, I'm not talking about, you know, I'm gay. Not at all. I'm happily married to my beautiful wife, Beverly, and I've got my children, Rafi and Isabella. Hello. But having, last summer, for the first time in my life, come clean and talk to a friend of mine and say, hey, you know what? I'm not this, you know, Mr. Cool. I, I've got problems. I'm in a real pickle. I need help. OK, we've got the anxieties there. Uh, Joe, give Richard some tips. How can he manage this? <laughs> oh, it is about having... Um, managing your uncertainty, so understanding where you want to go and what you want to do, what you want to achieve, and even simple things like don't watch the news before you go to bed because that fills you with anxieties no, 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 before no, no, you go no, to no. bed. I, I'm not going to endorse that. <laughs> watch lots Stop of news. Stop watching the news before you go to bed. Um, but the, you, there are things. I just tell you a chatterbox. is a little chatterbox, a little voice in our head that tells us we can't do things. And I just do that every day to overcome it. Put positive words into your head and you can overcome it. I don't know whether you can you block can. this stuff out. You know, I've been lying in bed with that and thinking, right, you I'm going to do this, I've got to do that. I'm really worried about this. I'm really yeah. 
You can, it's, uh, well, they, you call it, oh, they call it overthinking, and you yeah. can honestly, you can really train your, train your mind. You know, last year I had some serious bereavements and things like that, but you can control your mind. You honestly can. You can so you just you push it down. It. Um, or you do it at a certain time, you choose to think about your problems at a certain time, you can use positive affirmations um, and just make a decision not to worry and plan mm. and have control, you know, get some control just over Just want to ask Richard, do you try any of those techniques? Or do you, you kind of revel in it, you're making a living out of it, presumably, with the website. <laughs> I haven't made a penny for a long right. time. <laughs> He's worried about More me. worried. Listen, Here we go. Worried please God, I'm going to be compared to this. Oh, Listen, no. A few months ago, I was, I was broke, I was depressed, <laughs> I yeah, I was like on the edge and now I'm just broke but I've got a job. Um, I'll tell you what the best advice I can give anybody who is worried, because it's worked for me, and if it can work for me, it can work for you, is talk to somebody. Hmm. That is the first step to actually potentially getting a happy ending mm. to a story. Mm. Problem shared, problem hard. Exactly. I've heard uh, that I, I would say it. Yeah, it, 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 I won't it's, it's true. <clears throat> it's really difficult to worry once you've opened up Mm. Yeah, it's far more difficult. Until you let somebody else into it, yeah. Of course. Or write it down as well, write yeah. it down. Write it, write it really, really helps. If you're going through a challenging yeah. time, writing it down. But I'd also okay, say talk now. to somebody that's come out of whatever you're going through positively and then they can bring in the positive elements to it I as well. I think the actual key here is, and what, what my site is about, is let's say I'm worried about, uh, what have I worried about? My hair's falling out. Um, it would make more sense if your hair was falling out to come and talk to me than it would to talk to... Me, uh, Joe. Right, right. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> what Plenty to go around there. His hair to spare. What does <laughs> Joe know about hair loss? Speak to me, I'll give it you straight. I, I, forget, I, the t forget all that rubbish on TV. Nothing works. Nothing works. OK. Cut it off. Listen, I've got a very worried producer talking yeah, about Yeah, that's right. Move on, move on. Give him on, the name on. of the website. That's right. We've Thank all got it long. now. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Reallyworried.com. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Joe. Nice to see you.